Hey guys, Colvin here. Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. So this one will all be about Raid selling champions. Uh, I was making a new account today uh, for some testing that I needed to do and I saw that offer pop up. We'll get into it in this video and all about the history of Raid and selling champions. Getting things started. So selling champions, this is definitely not the first time that we've seen this. We've even seen it before with fragments being sold specifically when you needed to finish off a fragment collection. Let's say Opardin right here. I had multiple times been offered with the fragments to get this champion. Um, and I thought we were going to be given these for free. So I didn't pick those up. And yeah, I'm left at 95 out of 100 for Opardin. Luckily or unluckily enough, I managed also to get him out of a shard but let's look at the the subject in matter right the fragments i don't really you getting a champion offered for a price tag let's say uh well cp will never be offered in a price tag just to say that because those kind of champions um platinum gets a ton more money from just you know having a 10x event offering the shards up for you know 250 dollars in in a pack string offer and then okay go ahead good luck well well this one is is very much different right? let me just show you uh right here exactly what i mean in terms of uh champions getting offered this was the pack that i, I saw being popping up today so we get hoarding the epic champion if you guys don't know Horden, it's a it's a very basic champion uh in the banner lord he hits uh, with his a1 uh quite hard he is solid i would say for a brand new account this was offered on a brand new account and everything else is basically what is needed to get this guy maxed out to rank five all right the the um, the brews are definitely not enough to get him to rank uh, rank 5 level 50 and also fully ascended so i guess it's just the four ascensions plus getting this guy to five stars and then yeah good luck hope for the best i don't even think the potions the potions don't even look enough to get him anyway that's not the point the point is the price tag it's 15 dollars 15 euro depending on the shop that you offered it when i saw this this was a very limited kind of deal of uh, being offered for one hour only all right very limited offer it makes the new players think okay wow i gotta spend this or in one hour that's gone i'll get an epic champion look for that price tag i don't think it's worth it it should be five dollars five dollars i would totally be fine with a champion being offered and then also do not have hoarding featured in shards i would be totally fine with that as an introductory offer uh, games do this all the time to get them to start spending this would be fine uh, but <laughs> a big problem with this is we also had this in the past okay and i don't know it's prices are falling raid seems to just be trying its luck we had rare champions over in the past for a very similar price tag i think it was 20 dollars but this specific one existed in the past, all right? Three years ago, or at least two years ago, this was offered on the shop, okay? And even worse offer in terms of what is provided, but $50 for getting Horden. Same, same kind of pack, looking pack, right? Uh, we also get the aura there. I didn't even know that Horden had an aura. Uh, yeah, he apparently has one for Faction Wars. I think back then we didn't even have Faction Wars. That's why this was not featured there. So back then, $50, insane, right? $50 plus four-star gear, four-star ring, and 200,000 silver. Like the worst offer ever, if I, if you ask me. Comparing this to the $15, uh, $15 one, 15 euro, it's, this is a hundred times better, right? Um, at least five times better the price is is 15 for it i think it's it's okay if you're a spender but again i think this is overpriced for what the champion is my whole point is that is raid going to be offering more of these i don't think so i think that these are offered only to the new players to get them to start spending these new offers these celebration packs these are offered at a you know a much cheaper price than what we're used to First, to get them spending, to get them introduced to, you know, strong offers compared to the value that we're used to. And then once they get started into spending, they feel like, okay, I've spent enough. What is another $10? What is another $10 the next month? And so on and so forth. And that's how these games work. It's not like Plyum discovered, you know, something new. But what I want to see in Ray, when I want to see the change coming 
in general in a, it's this page right here the fusion page it, it cannot be the the case that uh three years since i've started playing more than three years now it's it's insane actually now that i think about three years now we only have three champions as permanent fusions one of them is Relic keeper who then dis uh, who, who stays there uh, after you finish the fusion the other one is Razen, who disappears once the fusion is done and Broadmouth, who is uh, i'm not even sure it disappears i think it disappears because i haven't fused him i've got multiples of this guy already from just shard summons but it's crazy that we only have three guaranteed um fusions that we can focus on on a, a brand new account this should have been way more this was there with three champions when the game had 300 champions now the game has over 600 champions i can't even i haven't even count uh, the last time of how many champions we have in the game and we see these kind of offers pop up i mean i think Plyam should start introducing more uh, permanent fusions get them a little bit more difficult i'm fine with that just make it so that you either have to grind for it or it's a chance uh, from a mystery shard let's say uh, it's a very specific champion that's only available through mystery shards and that's it so you have to open it up and get lucky similarly to how you get lucky to to finish off a fusion but instead being a very specific one where a mystery shard only champion exists to finish your fusion there's tons of ideas tons of things to do and i think that the um the guaranteed fusions would have been a great step forward other than you know just selling uh, straight up selling champions i i find this funny because there's so many other champions that you can introduce to a player i mean if this was apothecary for 15 dollars, i would have said buy it Buy it is gonna be big. If you're a spend it, don't think twice about it. Skip the um, skip the forge pass, right? Like like I did this month. I skipped the forge pass since I'm spending on Diablo Immortal, and I thought, okay, I gotta gotta limit my budget here. Uh, not two companies stealing my money, at least one only, and then we'll think about raid for next month. Um, skip the forge pass and get apothecary if you've got like a budget of fifteen dollars uh well no, that's not the case horden will be replaced almost immediately once you start getting other champions he's very similar to how relic keeper works a actually with their uh, a1 giving them extra turns so it's kind of funny in that sense that they offer something that is very similar but uh, they put a price tag to it uh, my whole point is please please play him um give us give us a way to to um to fuse more champions like a guaranteed fusion instead of the these temporary ones and i think we are all gonna be more happy for this even me as a veteran player i'll, I'll be happy for the new players because when i see new players happy i don't care about myself really as a, as a as a veteran player like uh, if it's a champion that barely does anything to my account I, I i won't care for my account but i'll care for new players the new players will be happy i want them to be happy i want them to be watching my videos like this one so anyway guys this was the video thank you guys for watching subscribe if you haven't already what you think about that that kind of offer would you have bought it if you were a new player knowing the things that you know now would you have bought it if you didn't know the things that you know now just just in terms of the price and how good it is let me know down below in the comments thank you and i'll see you in the next one see ya